Hi friends, welcome back to Royal Appleberry. I am Kenny the Messy Sober for those of you who do not know me and if this is your first time watching my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so freaking happy you found me. So, what are we making today? I'm going to make a Lush Dupe fragrance called Bathos. It's around here somewhere. I'll show you the bottle, but I don't know what I did with it. Um, I already have my lye mixed in here just because I don't want this video to be super duper long. I master batch. And, um, and for those of you who do not know what master batching is, master batching is a way of preparing your oils and lye in large quantities. That way you don't have to uh, scoop everything out and weigh it and measure everything out every single time you make soap. So that is what master batching is. So I've done that. And um, this, uh, this batch here is not room temperature. It's about uh, 99 degrees. I'm between 99 and 101. And I normally don't soap hot. I normally soap room temperature or oh, cleaning. All right, so now, uh, what's in this, you, you guys see this beautiful, beautiful freaking color here? I've been looking for this uh, color all of my life, <laughs> all of my soap life, and this is Dark Plum Purple Mica by Homemade Soap Making Supply. And she is one of our fellow uh, Soapy sisters, Tara, over at uh, How to Make Soap. And she also has a channel called Living on a Dime. So be sure to check her out. She has very, very affordable soap making supplies. And I just, I love it. So this is actually, um, you guys saw my haul that she, well, it was not a haul. It was a gift box that she sent me. And um, this is my first time ever using one of her micas. So I'm going to do a very thin um mica swirl mica swirl what am i saying i'm gonna do a very thin swirl of purple in my soap i don't want a whole whole lot maybe a little bit more but that's it and then the rest is going to be white and then i will be doing a mica line in between so majority of that in there and then a little bit in here and I have never no I've never made soap with this fragrance I've always done um, bath bombs and um, bath bombs and uh, oh that's bright yellow hopefully it doesn't change too much bath bombs and bubble bars yeah that's kind of yellowish I ain't loving that but um oh yeah that's that's very creamy color which i'm not in love with add a bit more td this one with a little bit of water should probably get my stick blender back all right i'm gonna get you guys back in here because um this is heating up very very quickly and I don't love that color but it's gonna have to work so we're gonna take all of this purple and I know this looks crazy but I know how to make this work pour it all in there and then I don't know I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a mica line because it is uh, well a couple of mica lines it is heating up pretty quickly and when it heats up quickly it stiffens up quickly so I'm going to play it by ear and see what I can do. If it allow me to, if it won't, it'll still turn out nice. I'm not worried about it, but it is quite warm. <laughs> okay. This is why I stopped soaping um, at high temperatures. Because of this reason. Get this. My chopstick. I think this color is actually going to be really pretty. I do, and I'm not just saying that. I think it's going to be gorgeous. I can already see it. Now, this does have a wee bit of vanillin in it. Hopefully, it ain't nothing crazy. All right. I'm just throwing soap everywhere. But what's new? 
All right, so I don't know. I'm gonna try my best to get a micro line in here. And if I do, I'm gonna have to move really, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to move pretty fast. Then again, it might just work. I think I used more purple than I wanted. So I'm gonna bang this down. Thing I'm concerned about is am I going to be able to do the top the way I want it to and it feels like the answer is gonna be no because this is like super stupid thick I'm gonna give this one more smack down I mean it's gonna be a hard one too <laughs> so I can get this all settled and get any air bubbles that think they want to be in there out of there matter of fact I see a big old blow hole on the side so I'm gonna go ahead and just mash that down right now I see a couple oh yeah this is hilarious this color I don't know now well it's pretty so yeah I'm mashing this down and it is very thick I'm not exaggerating here it is extremely thick okay, so hopefully that took care of any blowholes that may have been lurking now grab my spatula yes this is just a big old mess but i still have faith that this is going to turn out nice i do i know that sounds absolutely nuts but i'm hopeful but i do need to clean up some of this stuff this is just ridiculous i got soap everywhere this is definitely gonna have to go in the fridge because TD and heat equals glycerin rivers. Okay, now let me see how to clean this mess up. That one's not the one I want. Neither is that one. <laughs> wow, well, where's everything I'm looking for? I'll take this one. And these are artist palette knives. I like to use, wow, that's okay. Yeah, I don't know what type of top I'm going to get on here because this is crazy. Woo, I'm going to make a note. Never use this uh, fragrance again. <laughs> Not in soap, honey. No, no. No, it's like a funky gray color. But watch me still try to texture this. Yes, I am. Watch me. Watch me, watch me. Okay, <laughs> it just might break my spoon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to look like. And I know those of you who are new are like, what on earth is that? <laughs> Stick around. You'll find out if I was able to make it work or not. I just don't love the top of this soap, the color. But I'm not going to knock it just yet because it could end up being very pretty. I had it happen before. Just want to get this somewhat cleaned up. It's just so gross. crazy what I just did but I think this is going to work out better like spackle bad bad behaving fragrance 
I'm trying to get some type of design on the top of this soap. I don't know what that's going to be. Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Because I got a serious mess going on here. Now, I'm still going to put my botanicals on top. If they look terrible, then you know what? Cut them off. This feels just like grout or spackle. <laughs> okay, let me clean up some because this is just disgusting. And I'll be back. Alrighty, so I guess it's a great thing that this soap smells so good because it is a really bad behaving soap. <laughs> I mean fragrance oil so this is just a bit of dry mica which um i don't know what it's gonna do for this bad boy but hopefully something i just like to use like what's kind of left in the strainer not a crazy amount okay let's get a little bit there a little bit here a little bit there and that is all we're going to do. And then, I am actually going to stick some botanicals on here. Looks really amazing from the side, I will say that. So, I got these purple flowers and some white flowers. And these are definitely going to have to be pushed down. Because <laughs> I could just really pick this soap up and flip it over right now. And every single one will fall off. <laughs> That's how hard it is. So... Um, I'll do that in a second. I should have sprayed it first with alcohol. Because the reason why I want to spray it with alcohol is to dissolve that mica. It kind of gives it a really, really cool look. But it is, for all its trouble, it is a very beautiful smelling soap. Okay, so. There we go. Oh yes, this puppy definitely needs to go upstairs. It's probably about a thousand degrees. I'm exaggerating, but let's see exactly how hot it is. It's 107 degrees. <laughs> I tell you, this puppy is hot. Okay, so I could do this in front of you guys, or I can just end it right now, and then um, you guys will see the cutting. So. I'm going to do that because I'm pretty sure you watching me push these uh, flower buds down this soap is going to get quite boring. So I will give you guys a close up because it's pretty much going to look the same. And then you guys can meet me over the cutting which is going to happen right now. <laughs> so I was squealing and then my camera cut off. Fun! <laughs> but I am so pleased with that. That's beautiful, but I'm not going to get too super excited right now, and this arm is very loose, so i got to be careful. That's what happens whenever the seasons change. My arm loosens and tightens. It's just the wood expanding. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to get too crazy excited because I'm just hoping there is not a lot of blow holes in this soap. I try to smack it down as much as possible. But <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted it look how lovely that is guys like for real that is so pretty that's exactly what i had in mind oh my gosh i did not think that i was gonna be able to pull that off just because of all the trouble that it was giving me but man i'm very very happy i just want to get through this soap but not a bunch of blowholes <laughs> wow that is so lovely super duper I can't believe I pulled that off. <laughs> and I've pulled off some soaps before, but I just knew this one was going to be just a mess. And I was just like, okay, you know what? It's going to be fine. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. But then I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, cool, cool. This is so pretty. This is, it's really like for real, exactly what I was hoping it would be. So every time I hear my a wire cut through, I get nervous. Because I just don't want any big old blow holes. This is gorgeous. Wow, that's pretty. It's just crazy because 
That's what I wanted. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Yeah, guys, so I don't know how. I don't even, I can't even begin to explain to you how I managed to always wrangle these soaps, you know, into order when they go rogue on me. <laughs> but I'm just like thrilled about this one, like for real. So I got one little blowhole off on the corner and if that's where it's at, I'm more than happy about that. Wow, and that purple is lovely. Like really pretty, look how pretty that is. Oh yes, that's lovely. Normally my pur my purples morph, my dark purples, and I have been looking for a dark purple for all of my life. So, all of my so biggie life, not all my life. But I am so very happy with um, Tara's Micah's over at Homemade Soap Making Supplies. So yeah, be sure to go check them out and get some for yourself. Especially if you're looking for a dark purple that doesn't morph. I'm just looking at it, wow. Really, really pretty, and it has like these little speckles in it, and I guess that's from the fragrance. But it just only adds to the look of this soap because it ties in with the wider, the wider, the lighter floor, <laughs> floral botanicals on top. Oh, it's so pretty! Really, really pretty. Oh, guys, I don't want to do my hair. Which one of y'all come over and do my hair? <laughs> I'm just not in the mood to wrestle around with all this hair. I'm just not. I'm not. But can't be going to work looking shabby tomorrow. Because Sunday is the day that I do my hair. You know, so I don't scare my coworkers away and be like, what's wrong with Kitty? She didn't comb my hair. It's not cool. So, <laughs> yeah, I got to go do something to it. Probably just put in a big old bun on top of my head and call it life. So. I hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic Sunday. I have had a very productive Sunday. I'm very happy with the end result of my day because I got a very late start and I was not in the mood. I really, really wasn't. And this is probably my most favorite piece right here. Those swirls are beauteous. And I love that mica line. Can you guys see that mica line? It kind of blends right on in with the soap, but it doesn't though it's just like that pop of darker purple that kind of sticks out that i'm just digging like for real so yes this looks like marble that's what it looks like and that is the look i was going for so yeah i was able to crank out three soaps a day i unmolded three soaps i washed a lot of soap dishes i made some lip balms i finished master batching so it has been a very 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 productive day although i didn't start working until 11 o'clock so very happy and it's still fairly early it's just about six o'clock now so it's not going to take me well yeah that's a lie i was going to say it's not going to take me too long to do my hair that is a lie <laughs> but at least you know i can sit and maybe catch up on some netflix or what have you while i'm doing my hair that would be great i just might if time is on my side i just might edit a video for you guys because i'm trying to get in the habit of editing two three videos on the same day which is almost impossible because that is a lot of work but i'm trying i'm loving this soap like for real guys i keep saying it and i'm so sorry and sorry if i'm being annoying but i am just in love with this soap because i did not believe this is going to turn out exactly like i wanted that mica line is just giving me life and that top is so precious I'm so glad I cut that top off because <laughs> I was trying my best to texture the hell out of that soap. I'm like, this is not working. So I was like, you know what? Just scrape the whole top of it off and I'm very, very pleased that I did. All right, this is the last piece. I'm going to leave the back on that one. There's really no sense in taking it off because it is pretty. So there you have it, guys. Enough of my squilling. Get out of here. <laughs> Go upstairs and finish the rest of my evening hope you guys have a great day wherever you are no matter what time it is thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me hanging out with me watching me make soap and squill over soaps that i just didn't think were going to turn out nice <laughs> and i love hugs and kisses be awesome in everything you do and if you are new to my channel again i am so fucking happy you found me i hope that you will want to become a part of my sack which is my stinging awesome crew and how do you do that all you got to do is hit that subscribe button 
it's absolutely free and just like that you're in we have so much fun over here um i'm always doing something who knows <laughs> what the day's gonna hold and there's always soap adventures just like this one you just never know what fragrances are going to do um i might even be bold enough to try this one again because this fragrance is amazeball so it is worth it <laughs> be sure to hit that notification bell if you want to get notified whenever i post a new video that way you can run right over here and hang out with me on a sunday or sometimes i'll pop in a video midweek and that is it guys i will see you all in the next soap making video and thumbs up this video for all my hard work it is greatly appreciated bye